and welcome to Milton and I's first vlog, where today we're going to be going over the first five things that you should teach your new puppy. So I've had Milton since January, and we have learned quite a lot in the time that we've had him. So today we're going to be focusing on tricks, not necessarily things like potty training and crate training, though I will mention those a bit at the end, and I'll probably do a separate video on them later. But I just want to say off the bat that Corgi's are a lot of work. They are cute, they are absolutely adorable, the smartest dogs ever, but they are a lot of work. And because they're so smart, they're also very stubborn. And if you don't train them right off the bat to do a lot of these important tricks, your life is gonna be a whole lot harder with the Corgi. So the first and foremost trick that most any dog owner wants to teach their dog how to do is sit. Not only is sit such an easy command to learn, Sit is pretty much the basis for all the other tricks you're going to teach your dog, like down and stay and roll over and paw. They got to start at sit. So to teach sit, it's pretty simple. And it's interesting with corgis because of their height, teaching them tricks, you sometimes have to adapt it. But to teach sit, pretty much when they're in a standing position, you take a treat and you shove it towards their nose and eventually they sit. And the key for any trick is the minute they do what you want them to, you say, good boy, and you reward the treat. And then you repeat it. So you have them do the action, say sit, reward them with the treat, good boy, good boy. And eventually they'll get the idea of how to learn sit. Milton, I think, picked this up in like a day. And from then it was pretty easy to build onto his training basis and teach him the other important tricks. The next really important one you want to teach your dog is speak, and particularly corgis because they are super vocal breeds. The benefit of speak, well, there's two. One, it's really cute when your dog can speak on command like this. Milton, Milton, speak, speak, <coughs> good boy! It's really cute. And the other benefit is that when they learn to speak and learn that they get rewarded when you tell them to speak, they usually won't do it by themselves. Now, Milton's a corgi, so obviously he still barks when he's not told to, but I think teaching him speak has allowed it to be way less than it usually would be. Now, that one was kind of interesting to teach because it's not an action they're doing physically, it's them saying a sound, barking. So I'm gonna link the video below that I used to learn speak. It's by Zach George. If any of you have seen Zach George's videos, he's essentially a dog training guru. And Milton picked this one up, I would say in about an hour. And this has honestly been probably the easiest trick to get him to consistently keep on doing because he loves to bark, honestly. I think that's why. The third trick that I think is most important to teach your new dog is stay. Now there are a lot of reasons why you'd wanna teach your dog stay. And there are a few different ways you can teach it too. Melon has been really good at crate training like from the get-go. So the way we taught him stay was when he was already inside his crate, we would tell him to stay when we open the door. And that way he only leaves the crate when we tell him that he can. If it looked like he was going to move without us telling him, we would just gently shut the door, open it, say stay, and keep on repeating that until he got the idea pretty quickly I would say. And since then we've kind of built on to stay and use it for a lot of other things. The biggest thing we use it for is when giving him his food. So we'll make him sit, stay, put the food down on his mat, and then we'll say okay. And that's when he knows he can go and eat his meals. Another way this has helped us is when we're putting on our shoes. Milton still really likes to bite our shoes. So by teaching him stay, we know that he's not going to move from that spot when we're putting them on. Now, sometimes he will break it and still try and bite our shoes, but I found teaching him stay and having him stay when we're putting on our shoes really eliminates this a lot. The fourth trick that I think is super important to teach your dog is leave it. Now, I will preface this by saying Milton is still really learning leave it, and understandably so. It's one of the hardest tricks out there for a new puppy or a new dog to learn because you're making them leave something that they wanna buy it or that they wanna eat. And what dog wants to do that? So how you do this is you start small. You start with a treat. Because Milton and most dogs are really food motivated. So obviously if there's a piece of food on the floor, they wanna eat it. So what you do is you 
place the tree on the floor, say leave it, and when they're first doing this, they'll probably try and go after it. So you kind of put your hand on top of the tree so that they can't get it and repeat leave it until they look at you and look like they've left it. And so you keep on repeating this process of putting a tree on the floor, saying leave it, waiting until they look up at you, and then rewarding with a tree in your other hand. And then you can repeat this process with other more desirable objects. So in Milton's case, he loves to chew on our shoes. He loves to chew on my purse. So we would incorporate leave it with this. And the point that we're trying to get him to that we haven't quite yet is that when you say leave it, you don't reward them until their energy is redirected into something else that they're supposed to be chewing on, like a toy. And the fifth and final trick that is really important to teach your new dog is to come. This one Milton picked up pretty easy. And now the biggest thing is just repeating it in more hectic environments. And we teach this, it's very simple. You just have a treat in your hand, say Milton come, and when he comes, you give him the treat and you repeat that. This I found is pretty helpful at like dog parks or busier places because that this teaches your dog to always be attentive and alert on you, the owner. And whenever it's time to leave, I don't have to go and chase him because he comes right to me. And so those are the five tricks that I think is most important to teach your dog. Milton, we've had him since January, so he's picked up all of these tricks and a few others within that time because corgis are super smart, but they are stubborn. So this is not a they learn it and you leave it process. This is something you have to repeat daily, weekly, throughout the course of their life, probably up until they're a year, maybe a bit older, until you feel confident that they know it. And I would be remiss if I didn't include mentions of potty training and crate training in this video because both of those were honestly so crucial into being able to train him to do a lot of these other tricks. I already mentioned the crate training helped a lot with stay, but crate training also helps potty training and vice versa. You crate your dog when he's most vulnerable to go because usually they don't go in the same place they sleep. And by doing that, you can control his potty schedule in addition to controlling when you give him his meals, which is super crucial, especially for a puppy because they have small bladders that honestly they can't control. But I did want to mention it just to reiterate that you should be focusing on those two crucial concepts before incorporating a lot of fun tricks like paw or roll over or spin, which Milton does know, but we didn't teach him those until we knew he had a solid grasp of the other more important things like sit, potty training, crate training, those things. And that is it for Milton and I's video on five things that you should teach your corgi puppy or your new dog. We hope that you guys found this helpful. If you have any tips of your own for how you've learned these tricks or others, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Say bye Milton, speak. <laughs> bye.